Hello, my name is Bruce Sawalski and I'm Chief Instructor at the Boreal Wilderness Institute, a small outdoor education company located in Edmonton, Alberta. And I would like to talk briefly about another of those many survival myths in survival training. And this one is, you can stay hydrated by drinking your own urine myth and why this myth is still around today. So the question I'm going to ask is, should I drink this glass full of urine? My answer is no. It makes no sense. Even if this is a YouTube video would garner far more attention and interest than a scientific look at why I should not drink my own urine or anyone else's urine in a survival situation. So I'm going to put this glass down for now and talk a bit about why I will not drink it. First, urophagia is the consumption of urine, normally your own, and which is much smarter to do than drinking someone else's urine. So yes, I could have drunk that glass. It's not toxic. And it was between 91 and 95% water, which when you're still fully hydrated, like I am right now, sitting in my classroom, may help a little. Unfortunately, it's a waste product and it contains compounds which your body finds undesirable and is therefore expelling. Now, this includes hormones, salts, and a number of other elements. It is also the reason why, that other people's urine is far more toxic to you. It's other people's waste products and hormones, not yours. Now, water absorption is a very, very important concept to wilderness survival. For every liter of water consumed, your body absorbs about 700 milliliters. For every liter of coffee or any other diuretic beverage, you absorb 500 millimeters or about a 20% loss for your body to expel that caffeine. If you drink urine early in a survival situation, i.e. while you're still hydrated, it will reduce the amount of water you can absorb per liter by about 25%, i.e. to less than 500 milliliters per one liter of pure water. Urine is worse than coffee for water absorption. And I have drunk some very bad army coffee that was not much better tasting than urine over the years. And some beer brewed south of the border, which should have been poured back into the horse it came from. But those are far different tales. So it would still work on a very short term hydration solution. So again, why no? The reason is, that there are far better uses for your urine in a survival situation which do not involve you drinking it and which can be used as long as you can still urinate. Methods for using urine properly in times of water scarcity include distillation, purification using a ceramic filter, a solar still, or a small sand filter. Solar stills, like the one or survival still, like this one here, which you see, there's the survival still. That put a, you put a pot on it, you put a, um, a stove underneath, and survival stills work quite well. It will distill nearly any liquid, including your urine. Solar stills are all over survival literature, so I don't need to really cover that method other than to say Learn it if you travel into a hot, dry climate. Now, a good water filter using a ceramic filter will stop all elements except for water molecules from coming through, and therefore it'll work perfectly. Now, of all these four methods, the most interesting to those who are stuck out without purification gear in the northern forest in an area of water scarcity with enough warm temperature to allow water to flow is to build an improvised sand filter of at least one meter in height. You will lose some of the water in an improvised setup, but that is life. Simply pour your urine through the filter. It's a slow process, but even if it only removes 90% of the impurities, it is still far better idea than drinking pure urine. A good well-built sand filter removes 99% of the impurities and it will allow you to use about 75% of the water. So this idea that you can stay hydrated by drinking urine is a very common survival myth, but it's a very 
wrong myth that you can stay hydrated. Don't bother in a survival situation to drink your urine when you can simply and easily treat the wastewater and use the pure water to help you stay hydrated and live longer in a water scarce environment. Drinking your urine, urine in a wet environment or when there is snow would just be silly. We need to discard these worthless survival myths and concentrate on learning the techniques that will get, really get you home alive. So, do you drink your own urine? No. Do you distill it, purify it, or run it through a sand filter so it'll actually work? Absolutely. Bon appetit. So, what if you had to survive? Are you ready?